Artist Child Wedge here and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to review a face mask so it's like it's Sunday night um, I was gonna film another bridal makeup because I think I think I found the sort of look that I want to go for I've definitely seen a lipstick that I absolutely love the look of and I really really want to get it it is Kat Von D's Vampira and I need that in my life I need that for the wedding so I haven't bought it yet I know before anybody tells me I know it's on sale at the minute but I just I just can't afford it at the minute so it's just gonna have to wait and if I have to pay full price price for it then I have to pay full price it's just that simple but um hopefully I've got a, a lip slick from uh, lunatic cosmetics um, and I find lip slicks they do transfer so I don't want that for the wedding day but the color is beautiful and it's kind of similar so when I film the look that you'll probably see on Thursday um, this is the look that I think I think I'm gonna go for for the actual wedding so stay tuned for that on Thursday but today today we are going to talk about the wee heart face mask from Superdrug um, I got this from my daughter I think I got it for Christmas but I think these have got like good sell by dates it's never been opened or anything like that and it's vegan is it vegan and cruelty free it's cruelty free anyway it says that much on the packaging um, yeah, this is a Superdog own brand of face mask, mask. I can't speak today, uh, it is avocado and oat face mask, this is what it looks like, the packaging is really really cute, that's what the top of it looks like, now the mask itself is obviously going to look like guacamole because it is avocado based, So my daughter knows, well, when I was pregnant with Edward, I was literally eating avocado all the time. I haven't had it since, weirdly, but um, plus avocados are really expensive. Who knew? Anyway, I'm gonna not going to go off topic for a second. I'm going to talk about this product, but I kind of am. Um, this says, a totally marvellous creamy mixture. We love avocado and oat face masks. This fabulous concoction will help with a burst of goodness to your skincare routine. So it says after cleansing, smooth a generous layer onto your skin for 10 to 15 minutes until your skin feels dry, splash your face with warm water, use circular motions to let the oats scrub the particles, so obviously it's like an exfoliating um, sensation as well because of the oats and scrubbing the dead skin cells off. It says, use as often as you feel a little TLC is needed. Superdrug re recommends using your face mask weekly to give your skin a well-earned treat. So yeah, it's vegetarian and vegan prep friendly as well. So yeah, it's all good. All good. So we're going to whack this on our face and uh, attempt to talk about some stuff. I don't have a problem usually talking, but uh, as this dries, it might, uh, <laughs> it might make it more difficult to... Uh, talk but I'm um, if I can get into it wow right, I'm gonna bite this guy's ho ho oh no I don't need to bite it I don't need to I can save my teeth so I'm gonna have a sniff it smells nice it smells like I know it's not cucumber but it's the avocado and you can smell that clay avocado-y oaty smell so it smells nice so I'm just gonna whack this all over my face oh feels really nice i haven't done a clay mask in a while so this will be really nice to do and my skin especially now it's getting closer to the wedding i'm kind of really trying to be careful with my skin i don't want to aggravate it or have crazy breakout or something which i probably will because i'm totally totally stressed at the minute so with the wedding it's like all these tiny little things that are stressing me out i don't know why these tiny little things are stressing me out but they just are they're just i am like i've turned into see i'm the most laid back really positive person generally but in the last week or two i have become the most i've literally become a nervous wreck i have literally become a nervous wreck uh I'm just worried about things i'm worried things aren't going to go right i'm worried we haven't got enough money to to pay for the basically the wedding is paid for uh the registrar is, pay, is paid for those big things that i was worried about in the last video they're all sorted so our wedding is going ahead it is it's is there and we've got our dress our dress i've got my dress 
we're still waiting on one bridesmaid's dress to arrive it hasn't arrived it should hopefully be this week uh my littlest daughter i don't know whether i said it in the last video her dress has arrived um and <laughs> i think i might have said it in a video i'm not sure but she's like nearly seven and we had to order an age four dress for her because she's so small and when the dress came it didn't fit her because she's so small <laughs> so that's at the minute being taken in my other daughter's dress has not arrived yet i'm just hoping it arrives soon because there's like literally five weeks now till the wedding like so i'm hoping that turns up soon my partner steve's suits come it's lovely it's really really nice he went with a nice tweed suit we've still got to go and get the best man and uh my dad's suit but we're going to do that next week or the week after so that will be sorted but literally i am anyway i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna start this and i will let you guys know i promise i will give a proper review of this mask afterwards but um i kind of like to just vent with you guys especially about the wedding and um steve gets it all the time and i kind of feel sorry for him at the minute because i'm just literally he's having to reassure me constantly um, and he has to be the positive one because I'm just a mess um, so stressing out and bending to you guys is helping so so we're going to leave this on for 15 minutes and then we're going to come back after I've washed it off and I will give you a proper review on the product and let you know what I think so let's just set up a 15 minute timer she says, can, am I the only one who can never find the apps they're looking for on their phone? Even though I've set this to alphabetical order, I can still never find the app that I'm looking for. There it is. Right, so, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to start that off. And so, where was I? Yeah, so Steve sort of has to take all the flack and he has to be so positive even when I'm being negative. So I feel little bit sorry for him so venting to you guys might help i put that a little bit too high you never should put face mask on your under eye area guys because it is a sensitive area so don't do that um yeah so venting to you guys might actually help i can talk about what's bothering me so this week so like i said everything the wedding is paid for uh, I'm waiting on my flowers. They're supposed to be posted tomorrow. I haven't seen a picture of them finished. I've seen um, a picture of them like all apart because they're ba basically they're paper roses. So they're all handmade out of book paper and things. Um, and I've seen a picture. She sent me an update of them just as the roses that she's made, but I haven't seen them all together. So but they're supposed to be literally posted out tomorrow. So I don't know what's happening with that. And I don't want to be this like bridezillery type person and have to chase and chase people because I don't like doing that. And I wouldn't like that to be done to me, especially if I'm creating something. But at the same time, she should probably think that we're probably wondering what's happening and probably update us as well. So there's that. Um, so I was just like that we've got to wait for. They should be here this week. So I will definitely be doing an update on the wedding video soon because I want to show you guys the flowers and a few other things that have come together. Um, so yeah, flowers. Tuesday, I've got to go and get my hair. Um, this is one of the things that's been stressing me out for ages because I need to practice. I have not practiced the hairstyle. I just, I, I can't practice without the hair extensions and I'm not having fixed hair extensions because I don't I don't like the damage that they can cause to your hair and my hair's literally crap anyway it's damaged to hell so I don't want proper extensions I want clippings so I've been stressing out because obviously they're not the cheapest but I managed to find somewhere that's got them at a really good price and she deals with bridal hair and so I'm going over on Tuesday because my partner has said just go get your hair he's given the money and said just go and get your hair so Tuesday because obviously it's Sunday night now uh, you guys will see this tomorrow which is Monday but then Tuesday I'm going to get my hair but then I've got to dye the hair extensions because they're um they're 100% human hair but obviously because you guys know I've got pink hair I need to dye them I also need to dye my hair and do my roots so all this has got to happen in five weeks <laughs> And I've got to hope that my, I've got to time it right so that I don't have like loads of regrowth on my roots as well. So I need to do my hair, practice my hair. Makeup's not so much of a problem because 
now I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do um, I can kind of practice it with you guys and share it with you guys um, so that I'm not too worried about I'm just worried about because I'm not <laughs> I am a qualified hairdresser but I, I, I literally left college and never did hairdressing because I didn't enjoy it it wasn't for me um, so I have an idea in my head I'm just hoping I can pull it off and I have done wedding hair um, I did my daughter's uh, friend's hair for her wedding and her mom's hair um, so I know I can do it but I think because it's me and I want it to be perfect it's really really it's really really hard it's really stressful so hopefully I get the hair on Tuesday I'll be, I'll dye it as soon as I can and I just need to I just need to basically get it in even if it's blonde get it in have a play with it try a style that I want because I think I want sort of some up and some down I definitely want majority down because I don't have long hair and I want long princessy hair I think they're 18 inches so they're not mega long but uh, I'm gonna curl them slightly but I just want something so I look like I've got fuller hair basically so that's that what else am I stressing out about that I can share with you guys um it's it was mainly my hair and makeup but there's all the little things you, you literally don't realize <laughs> when it comes to you're like okay they're gonna dress the room and they're gonna do um, they're, they'll be sorting out the food and I don't have to worry about that but then you have to think well we've decided to make our own table place names um, name cards and we've decided to do our own uh, seating plan which I have designed thank you to pick monkey I've designed those I just need to print them off we need to back them onto card and um, my lovely friend who uh, dresses wedding venues is lending me this gorgeous rustic easel um, and I will update that I will put a picture of that in my wedding video and um, we're gonna we're literally making it ourselves so there's that stress as well um, we could have paid uh, the company that are doing the room dressing to do it but they wanted a lot of money a lot more money than I don't know but okay I'll, I'll just be honest they wanted 300 pounds just to do table place names so that's a lot of money to me when you can literally <laughs> go to Aldi like we did and they had a whole wedding range and you can buy the place name cards for like how much did I pay like I did say it in my last video it's like it's either $2.99 or $3.99 and that was like everything all in one go so do that and then find somebody to write the names on or spend £300 <laughs> it's kind of a no-brainer isn't it really so yeah we've put that little bit of pressure on ourselves but it's not so bad and um, we know exactly what we're going to do and me and Steve work so good together as a team it's just that's why I'm marrying him because we just we just work well together we I keep him calm he keeps me calm it just it just you know it works well so um there's that what else am I forgetting have I forgotten anything else I don't know but I'm just a big massive ball of stress and people not getting back to me is so annoying because um for my hen do I just want to go to a spa and I, we've actually now come to the decision that we're not going to do a full day spa we're going to do an evening spa so um, it's only for a few hours so and it's at, in the evening it's like it starts at six so anybody that's coming they'll be able to finish work and then we can go to the spa so it sort of doesn't get in the way of anything so but people are a nightmare <laughs> and my daughter's been arranging it and you know people not getting back to her and it's just sort of been a bit of a mess really but it's all sort of sorted now ish but um I'm, i can't wait to go but to be honest i'm not bothered about hendu at all i i think i'm just doing it because it's like a tradition um and i don't drink so i didn't want to go drinking so i was just like spa 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 it was going to be a spa or like an afternoon tea type thing um and i've been to this spa before it's horcross hall you may know it i don't know it's quite a good spa um and i've been to it before and absolutely loved the day that i had there so i wanted to go back again so that's kind of how that came about i was just like let's do that then but um yeah i, I for hindus I could take it or leave it really it's not the whole last night of freedom thing isn't it 
that's such a cliche it's it's it just doesn't make sense to me it's not your last night of freedom at all it's like for me, for a lot of people, it's an excuse to just go and get wasted, which isn't my scene anymore. I <laughs> don't get me wrong. I've I drink I've drunk in the past, but I just I just don't. It's not my thing. I don't, I'm not a good drinker. <laughs> I cannot hold my beer, shall we say? I I'm just I just don't. I get drunk after like two glasses of wine, <laughs> and I don't just I, I I so mean that in the literal sense. I I only have to smell beer or wine, and I'm pissed. I'm literally wasted <laughs> I just I just can't take it and it's never been something that I've been like I need to go out I need to go and party and get drunk and it's just never really been a massive thing for me so I pretty much could say I'm teetotal now pretty much I am gonna drink when we go to this hen do um part of the um package is uh, a glass of prosecco so i'll be drinking that and on the wedding day there is i think is it a glass of wine and is it a prosecco for the toast i don't know prosecco or champagne or something for the toast that'll probably be the only alcohol i probably have that day because it's just whatever i can still have fun and be me without alcohol inside me <laughs> i'm still just as weird with or without the alcohol so yeah that's you know that's that so i'm not i'm excited for the hendu but i could have took it or leave it kind of thing really definitely but um my partner's having a stag do but he doesn't really drink either he's actually just going to go for a curry with his friends so yeah maybe i should have done that because i probably would have really enjoyed that maybe i'll have the curry while he's out having his stag do because mine <coughs> my hendu is the day before his stag do so maybe I could have a curry while he's out. <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> kind of need to, we're kind of watching what we eat a little bit at the minute. Not because we need to lose weight, more so just health reasons and we, you know, just, I, I want to fit in my dress. <laughs> I really want to fit in my dress. I fit in my dress, but you know when you have that, that, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but you're like in the back of your mind like I need to make sure this is like five weeks to go I can't have this dress altered now to be taken out or anything literally that since the day I got the dress it's fit me perfect and I was pregnant when I tried the dress on when I went to buy it so it fits me I'm not worried <laughs> if I'm really worried I'll just you know not eat too much in the day of the week before the wedding but yeah um it's just stressful it's so stressful it really is and people are like oh you'll be fine and you'll you'll laugh, look back and laugh at it and I'm just thinking right now I'm thinking I'm not laughing at anything <laughs> it's really really stressing me out guys I literally I'm so stressed out about it but I know when it gets to the night before the wedding once I've finished running around because we have to take my cake to the venue and um, there's a couple of things in the venue that I need to do myself because there's a few things I want to do um once i've done that I'm, I'm actually thinking let me know what you guys think what about if i did and i never thought i'd say this what about if i went live on youtube the night night before the wedding and then like i could maybe show you guys where we're staying and maybe if they've set up the room because i don't know how they're gonna because we've got to go in and speak to them but if they've set up the room the night before maybe i could sort of sneak down if they'll let me of course it's my wedding so maybe they will um and show you guys what it looks like what do you think do you think that would be a good live video so you guys get into sort of because i think i can't remember who it is i'm really sorry i can't remember your name but somebody asked me if i do a get ready with me on the day of the wedding no <laughs> i will be so stressed um, I've got to do my hair and my littlest bridesmaid's hair, which is my li my youngest daughter. I don't think I'm going to have time to film a get ready with me on that morning. Um, so, but what about if I did a live the night before and shared some stuff with you guys then? How would you feel about it? Would you come and watch? Because, you know, maybe I should consider it if you guys, you can come and see a few things the night before and see how stressed out I am and how nervous and excited I am. So yeah, let me know if you think I should do a live like the night before the wedding because I'm in the hotel the night before and Steve's at home with Edward so I'm in the hotel with the bridesmaids so maybe I should share that with you guys. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know where we are with this. 
let's have a look because I feel like I've absolutely talked to the ears of you guys okay we've got two minutes and it is starting to tighten up and dry so I don't think it'll dry completely it does say let it dry completely but I think I've layered it up quite thick in certain places and I have said it in before a mask video before for some strange reason this part of my face here never dries properly like if you do those peel off masks I always have this weird chewing gummy effect when it comes to this like this random part here my jowls <laughs> maybe I have really like cold jowls or something but yeah it's weird I don't know where anybody else gets that but yeah it doesn't always tend to dry around there strange but it feels really nice there's like there's it just feels comfortable on doesn't feel uncomfortable um it's you can see that it's dried because obviously the colors are uh, changed there but I, i'm not going to keep it on for more than 15 minutes because i don't want to irritate my skin as nice as this will be because i've got to exfoliate it with the oats that are in there so yes it's all good so far but i will come back once i've washed it off and share it with you guys in a minute we've got like a minute to go now so um yeah what else can i talk about I've just rambled about the wedding but that's like literally the center of the universe right now it's crazy that and the, and, uh, the school holidays ending like uh, my littlest daughter Casey she goes back to school on Tuesday so tomorrow we're going clothes shopping because she's grown a little bit and we need some new clothes so we're gonna do that in the morning um, but yeah like literally my brain is just consists of wedding 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 I kind of will be glad when I don't have to think about it anymore and it's like the day or the night before the wedding and I'm just like everything's okay we've got everything here we're all in place but right now my brain is fried with weddings <laughs> so I needed to vent to you guys and I really am grateful that you guys hopefully you've stayed and listened to me ramble and I tend to talk so much but the time, time has gone off but I tend to talk so much I my voice starts to go i don't know if anybody notices i just start a tangent of talking and never know when to stop so i will go and exfoliate this ot bit now and then i will come back and let you guys know what my thoughts are on the mask and try not to talk about wedding -y stuff anymore so i'll be back in a second right i'm back and i've washed the mask off and i have to say it feels my skin feels really really good um the oats in it are kind of soft so they don't feel like they are they're probably giving you like a gentle exfoliation rather than like a, a full-on you can feel it like scrubbing your skin um, but it's, it's really really nice um, it's quite um, easy to get off as well just uh, once you've obviously like splashed your face with the warm water and then rubbed it all in it's kind of loosened up all the dry stuff and it's quite easy to wash off your face uh, my skin feels and it actually looks really really good I really like how this mask has worked and I will definitely definitely use this again it's really nice so yeah I, I highly highly recommend this I don't know what the retail price is for these Superdrug's own face masks but I will find out and I'll link that below because obviously this was a gift but I love it I love my skin just looks really really good like really good um, I just like I love the way it feels I love I love my skin looks I don't know how to put it it kind of looks smoother if that even makes any sense but it, it just looks and feels really really good and yeah love it I'm so glad I tried out this mask tonight my skin clearly needed it um, it will probably draw out some bad stuff because I have noticed a little tiny spot coming on the end of my nose that could have already been coming because I'm a stress head but um, and I did have one here a little bit that you can't really see because it's only small but other than that my skin's doing really okay at the minute fingers crossed fingers crossed it stays that way um, but yeah uh, I just wanted to finish this video and say yes I love the super drug face mask so you should totally all go and check it out and if my skin looks this good at 38 then you should definitely try it um, also Thank you for listening to me whine and moan and stress. Um, you guys are like my... There's so many of you that have become really, really good friends over the time that I've been doing YouTube. And I feel like I know you all like you like 
we could go for a cup of tea around the corner or something around the corner like I could go to your house and we could have a chat and sit down and a, a lot of you guys um, I like that to me I just feel like you guys know me now you're starting to get to know me more which is really really nice um, being a little bit more open with you guys is really nice a lot of you know my name now so I get tend to get my name said in the comments rather than Charmed Wench um, which I don't hate I don't mind that it's nice that you guys know who I am and you know a bit more about me uh, but yeah it's just really nice so if you did stay for the entirety of this video thank you for listening to me moan um, uh, if you haven't already and you're new and you've listened to me moan thank you and um, hit that subscribe button and uh, I don't moan all the time I promise you um, there is other videos and there will be other videos up Thursday's video should hopefully if it works out well be what makeup I'll be wearing or a rough idea of the makeup I'll be wearing for the wedding eye wise colour wise and things so stay tuned for that but yeah I'm gonna leave you guys I hope you have a great day and I hope you uh, get to try the super drug face mask because it's awesome but other than that I'll see you in the next one bye